Today we're going to go over uh, how to put your rain jacket on. These things are pretty nice, pretty versatile, and uh, they attach right into the uh, shoe mount on the top of your camera. This is the rain jacket. It goes on the camera. Um, first thing, there's several zippers on the bottom. There's four of them. You can position them however you want. Um, if you are shooting handheld, it's probably best to have zippers all the way to the front. That way you can create a little pocket at the bottom where you can shoot up from underneath. The back stays closed and the front stays closed. A couple important things to note with the, uh, with the rain jacket is this shoe mount here. Um, it will slide in on the top of the camera uh, and hold the rain jacket in place. Um, we also have this guy can flip two ways. Just the top piece is to blow it up. The bottom piece is to let the air out. And you would blow this up, fills up this little air pocket and uh, gives it a little more rigidity. Another important thing, if you look at the front of your rain jacket, kind of hard to see, there is a little Velcro spot. And this hole, and that is for your nat mic. Those are the main parts of these uh, rain jackets. You do have like, you can cinch things up on it, make it a little tighter if you need to. Um, there's a hole in the back as well for your viewfinder in the back. Put it on, just drape it over top of the whole thing. Just like so. Line up your shoe mount. I like to line up the one on the bottom before I tighten this slot on the top. So I have a little wiggle room. Tighten that up. Adjust the rain jacket. Again, you can slide it forwards or backwards in that little shoe mount. Make sure your lens is uh, snug. It's snug around your lens and but not covering your lens. And tighten up the little screw on the top to keep it from moving on you. This is the little hole I was talking about for the nat mic. It's vel typically Velcroed up there. Pull it out and slide it. Just around your nat mic a little bit. For the viewfinder in the back, slide it over, tighten it up. That's what it looks like. I'd recommend putting it on before the rain uh, starts to come down, um, even if, if there's a chance of rain, because it does take a few minutes to put on. After you uh, assemble it a few times, it gets a little easier, but uh, I still think it's a good practice to put it on before the rain comes. That way you're prepared. And one more thing, if you are using a camera with a shoulder rig, and happen to have your mic at the back of the camera, like this one, this rain jacket will not cover your receiver. Your receiver does need some type of waterproofing around it. Uh, I, for instance, I'm going to use sandwich bags and rubber bands. I recommend either doing that or taking off the receiver and putting it in a spot where it will be covered by the rain jacket, or if you're just shooting VO, take the receiver off entirely. Another thing that you can do that will work in a pinch, but I do not recommend that you do it all the time, especially if you're going to be moving, is you can use the bag that the rain jacket comes in to put over top of it. This does have mesh on the sides, but the plastic on the top will cover it momentarily. Again, this is not a good fix. It is a in the pinch fix for a short period of time. 